All right, guys, how are you guys doing today? All right, today we're going to talk about uh, how to change oil on a 3S GTE Gen 4. So basically, you just undo the cap for the filler, um, your, dipsticks, your dipsticks back here, and then um, the Gen 4 oil filter. It's right there. So it's pretty simple, pretty easy, a lot easier than a Gen 2. And then the oil that I use is the Rotella T6, okay, one gallon. And of course, Toyota oil filter. And I also um, put some oil inside the filter as well. And then we're gonna change the magnet drain plug. So go ahead and um, drain this. Here's the drain bolt right here. Right there, that's the drain bolt. So just undo that, drain the oil. And then just fill up the oil. So right now the oil is getting drained. I'm gonna go ahead and use one of these tool. Adjustable oil filter remover. Clamp it right there. Just like that. And then use a quarter quarter three eight extension with the wrench and just undo it. Alright, so here's the setup of the oil filter remover with the ratchet and the oil filter itself. Go ahead and clean that part right there out with the paper towel, nice and uh, nice and dry, nice and clean. And then um, go ahead and put the new oil filter back on. So what you do is you wanna put this filter right when it touches the surface. Um, right when it touches it, it just kind of freely tighten it. When it touches this, turn about three quarter and then um, and then you're tight. Don't over torque in it because it doesn't need to be that tight. Just when it touches and then just turn three quarter and then you're good. All right, go ahead and put the filter back. Um, also, Toyota oil filter, it come pre-lube already on the O-ring. Um, if you get other filter, it might be dry. So just get a dab of oil and go around the O-ring. Okay, so I'll go ahead and tighten this in. All right, so basically it barely touches right there. Okay, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't turn anymore. And this number right here, just basically turn it three quarter. It doesn't have to be over tightened, okay? All right, I went ahead and um, before the letter was right here, I turned it three quarter and then that's pretty much good. All right, when the oil drain is already, when the oil is already drained out, go ahead and put the drain bolt on. Um, do it. Do it snug, okay? Don't over torque in it, because if not, you're gonna rip off the thread. So just make it like, you know, just tight enough and not over torque it. All right, I went ahead and um, put the oil in already in my homemade uh, funnel. And then the dipstick, the oil level already cleaned off and everything. It should be about halfway. I don't know if you can see that or not. Yeah, so it's like, it's like right here. So we're just, we're just pretty good. Okay, all right, go ahead and put the oil in. Um, here's my homemade funnel, and the car's already uh, been warmed up 30. I, uh, I let it warm up for like 30 seconds, so that way the oil circulate. And then um, the dipstick is right here. I already cleaned it already, so. The oil is about right here, which is uh, we, which is pretty good. All right, I went ahead and cleaned the dipstick already, so make it easier for us to look at. 